Yeah, we can see your screen. Yeah. So basically, it's my duty to talk about uh, obstetrics and gynecology. So I, I should take this opportunity to thank you, Padma Madam and Hanifa, sir, as well as the College of Obstetrics and Gynecologists for giving me this opportunity. Few objectives are laid down. I had to talk about vacancies available in the Ministry of Health, opportunities available outside the ministry, and advantages and disadvantages on different specialities and sectors. So uh, first and foremost, if I define what is obstetrics and gynecology, it's a branches of medicine that deal with the birth of children, which is called obstetrics, and the diseases of women, gynecology. So obstetrics and gynecology is really challenging and rewarding. You help mother to give birth to a child. This is the world. So our subject belong to ages and ages in the history. Even before Christ 700, this Roman marble from second century delivery showing forceps delivery. So this is a very ancient subject. But as an obstetrician in Sri Lanka, so it's really, really responsible job. A lot of commitments, dedication, challenging. So being obstetrician, we have sleepless nights always. Even though it is lucrative, it is really stressful, rewarding job. So when I analyze annual transfer list in 2021, what I found this year, 26 vacant posts are available. This 26 vacant posts in the city as well as in the periphery, so not having obstetricians and gynecologists. So it is the future. So basically in the pipeline, there are a lot of, so many trainees are being trained, but so job vacancies are being created yearly, depending on the number of consultants are recruited to the Ministry of Health from PGIM. And as a college, we are discussing about concept of multi-consultant units, which have been implemented in all specialties, which will be implemented in our specialty also, which will create more and more opportunities for juniors in the future. So therefore, there are enough vacancies. So if I talk one slide about how to enter the postgraduate training, to sit for selection exam, you need six months of first on call in obstetrics and gynecology as a house officer or as a SHO with one year post intern. Candidates are selected by MD part one exam. It is being conducted once a year. It has paper one and paper two. Paper one is 20 MCQs and 30 SBS on two and a half hours. The pass mark is 50% and People who are selected from paper one can sit for paper two, which has four SCQs and two short answer questions. Again, the pass mark is 50. So every year, there are about 25 to 30 candidates are being selected to become registrars. So the training program is recently changed. So they start with peripheral appointment for six months and gynae cancer appointment for three months and the next 12 months, first year under obstetrician and gynecologist, and the last year, 15 months. Then they go for MD part two exam. After part two exam, one year of local training as a senior registrar and one year of foreign training is compulsory. Then you get your board certification. So foreign training, so it is easy to find jobs. There are enough jobs offers in United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, there are enough vacancies. And these are lucrative jobs, you can save some money and you get good training under supervision. So in UK, you get the GMC registration with full license to practice in UK if you have MD part one and part two qualified. So you have enough opportunities after board certification. So majority of our obstetricians our work for Ministry of Health, but now recently, a lot of medical faculties are being open all over the country. So a lot of universities are coming. So there are a lot of opportunities are developing in universities as well. 
there are some obstetricians and gynecologists who are full time private sector so they they attach to big private hospitals and practice in there so as well as about 20 to 30% of our trainees after completing their board certification so due to different you know reasons so they decided to go back to uk australia singapore and new zealand like countries where they have very good life and good opportunities so so uh, and 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 our field mainly general obstetrics and gynecology but now we are slowly developing our sub specialties so far we have two sub specialties one is infertility so only three foreign training completed consultants in infertility specialists and gynae oncology only four foreign training completed so there are enough vacancies so our candidates trainees who come to our field who doesn't like to have sleepless nights so they can select one of these you know sub specialties where you don't have to be a lot of stress so this infertility and gynae oncology is relatively you know stress is low and in future i hope there are so many specialties will come fetal medicine maternal medicine urogynecology in the future once we are filling up all the vacancies in the peripheries so so anyway so before you select obstetrics and gynecology think about it right so in sri lanka so there are some stresses and you have to you know you have always handling two patients so in obstetrics you handle mother and baby so at once you handle two babies two lives so therefore it's a very very responsible job you think about and select it so if you are a dedicated obstetrician you will be a successful rewarding person in the field of medicine thank you very much